Is it going to sound normal through this one? Here, do this. Ready? Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I'll do a sample. Yep. We're doing the sneeches, like I said. Okay. Yeah. Now the star belly sneeches had bellies with stars. The plain belly sneeches had none upon ours. Those stars weren't big, they were really so small. You might think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. But because they had stars, all the star belly sneeches would brag with the best kind of sneech on the beaches. With their snoots in the air, they would sniff and they'd snort. Full of nothing to do with the plain belly sort. Whenever they met some, when they were out walking, they'd hike right on past them without even talking. When the star belly children went out to play ball, could a plain belly get in the game? Nope, not at all. You could only play ball if your bellies had stars, and the plain belly children had none upon bars. When the star belly sneeches had Frankfurt or roasts, or picnics, or parties, or marshmallow toast, they never invited the plain belly sneeches. They left them out cold in the dark of the beaches. They kept them away, never let them come near, and that's how they treated them year after year. The sneeches. It's the sneeches. Yeah, the sneeches. This is a song about the sneeches. Then one day it seemed, while the plain belly sneeches were moping and doping alone on the beaches, just sitting there wishing their bellies had stars, a stranger zipped up in the strangest of cars. My friends, he announced in a voice clear and keen, my name is Sylvester McMonkey McBean, and I've heard of your troubles, I heard you're unhappy, but I can fix that, I'm the fix it up chappy, I've come here to help you, I have what you need, and my prices are low, and I work at great speed, and my work is 100% guaranteed, then quickly Sylvester McMonkey McBean put together a very peculiar machine, and he said you want stars like a star belly sneech my friends you can have them for three dollars each just pay me your money and hop right aboard so they clambered inside then the big machine roared and it clonked and it bonked and it jerked and it burped and it bopped them about but the thing really worked when the plain belly sneeches popped out they had stars they actually did they had stars upon bars when they yelled at the ones who had stars from the start we're exactly like you you can't tell us apart we're all just the same now you stoony old smarties and now we can go to your frankfurter parties good grief groaned the ones who had stars at the first we're still the best sneeches and they are the worst but now how in the world will we know they all frown if which kind is what or the other way around then up came mcbean with a very sly wink and he said things are not quite as bad as you think so you don't know who's who that's perfectly true but come with me, friends. Do you know what I'll do? I'll make you again the best niches on beaches. And all it will cost you is $10 each. Belly stars are no longer in style, said McBean. What you need is a trip through my star off machine. This wondrous contraption will take off your stars. So you won't look like sneeches who have them on bars. And that handy machine, working very precisely, removes all of the stars from their tummies quite nicely. Then with the snoots in the air, they paraded about And they opened their beats, and they let out a shout We know who is who, now there isn't a doubt The best kind of sneeches are sneeches without Then of course those with stars all got frightfully mad To be wearing a star, now is frightfully bad Then of course old Sylvester McMonkey McBean Invited them to his old star off machine then of course from then on as you probably guess things really got into a horrible mess all the rest of that day on the wild screaming beaches but fix it up chappy kept fixing up the sneeches off again on again in again out again through the machine they raced round and about again changing their stars every minute or two they kept paying money they kept running through until now the plane nor the star valley's new Whichever one is which one or that one was who Or which one was what one or what one was huh Then <laughs> with every last cent of their money was spent We fixed it up, Chappy packed up 
And he went and he laughed as he drove in his car up the beach. They never will learn. Nope, you can't teach a snitch. But McBean was quite wrong, I'm quite happy to say. The snitches got really quite smart on that day. The day they decided that snitches are snitches. And no kind of snitch is the best on the beaches. That day all the snitches forgot about stars. And whether they had one or not upon bars. The end. That was awesome.